Hello. I hear you were just in a axe throwing competition accident. I know, up here in the great white north, the frozen tundra of Canada, there's not much for you to do. But did you really think an axe throwing competition was a good idea? Especially when you're standing across from each other. <clears throat> it's okay though, that's what I'm here for. We don't have none of them fancy doctors from the city. No, you got me. Oh, that gash, eh, it does look a little bad, don't get me wrong. But I think I got this. See, when you have a head wound like that, the eyes tend to get a little fuzzy, they get a little bleary. Well, let's find out. That's right, we ain't got no fancy flashlights, we got this little device. Ha-ha. Just want you to follow the light. Just follow the light. Ooh, went above. Wow, it's a completely disappeared? Hmm, you might really have a bad concussion then. Well, did you at least win? <laughs> you finished third? How are you gonna take an axe to the head and you only finished third? Come on. Yeah. Darn lumberjacks. I want you to put one hand over your eye. Very good. Now try, just try to follow the only one eye. I know, I know, they got them fancy chainsaws down south. But up here, we still use a good old-fashioned axe. Axes are better, if you ask me. That's right, just follow the light, keep talking to me. As I talk to you, I want you to talk back to me. If your speech is slurred or something, then we may need to send it to a real doctor. Hopefully you don't, because even here in the Great White North, it's still going to cost us some money, at least in transportation. When you're this far away from the nearest city. Heck, might be cheaper to send you over to Alaska. Gets a little bright when it's right in front of your face. Same. Go all the way around, all the way to the bottom, and all the way back out. All right, now I want you to cover with the other hand. Really, the whole screen went green when I did that? Hmm. I've never heard of that before. Then again, I got my degree online. <laughs> Trying to tell me it's a diploma mill. I've worked at a lumber mill. I know what a mill looks like. Also, you might want to get some stitches on that. I ain't no sewer. Sewer? Hmm. I'm just a good old-fashioned lumberjack here of the Great White North. Hence, the flannel. The beard. The long, lush, lovely locks of hair. Hmm. <laughs> ear. Alright, now drop all your hands. That's right, all three of them. And focus on the light as it gets closer and closer. Dun, dun. 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 Up here in Canada, that movie just came out. Mind you, it was 2019. We're a little bit behind the time. I mean, come on, we had Rush play at our independence. That's not a joke. Rush actually played at the Canadian Independence Festival. 
<laughs> Again, that's not a joke. Just keep following the light. Don't go into the light. Just follow it. If you go into the light, you're going to hit your head. And you've already done that, and we don't need to get any more damage done. Hmm, you saying things just went blurry? Your vision's blurry. Hmm. Could definitely be a sign of concussion. Follow my hand. Oh, you're saying the blurriness already went away? Hmm, intermittent blurriness coming in out of... Hmm. That could be a definite issue. We might want to send you to a real doctor. But before we do that... Let's do sound test. Not just your eyes, but your hearing will be messed up by a blow to the head like that. So, when you hear a noise like this, or this, let me know. Mm-hmm. Again. That's right. You're doing very well. Mm hmm Yeah, I tried to trigger that one. So you heard all that? Hopefully you didn't hear me further in the middle of that. <laughs> all right. Well, then we've done vision. We've done hearing. My mom always told me there was five senses. I just can't remember what the other three are. Oh, I know. Touch. Oh, no, I, I was totally not going to smack you. Let's, hmm. Should have something nice. Do you, hmm. If I was a real doctor, would I use something sharp or something soft? We'll go with something soft. To clean my glasses. Rub it on your face. You feel it being rubbed on your face? Mm -hmm. You feel it? It's nice and soft. It's not too sharp. All right, let's see. We've covered sight. We've covered hearing. We've covered touch. I would say taste, but we ain't got much around here to taste. I mean, come on. You've had the, what the cook makes. Ah. Uh, I'm about ready to go out there and kill me a beaver. If you know what I mean. I actually do mean an actual beaver. We're in the great white north after all. Hmm. Well, I mean, you can smell the woods around you, you're right. You smell the ice in the air because we're in the great white north where it's always cold. Even in the middle of summer, it's still a frozen wasteland. Alright, so I guess your sense of smell is good. Hmm. Should I do anything else for you? Yeah, you should be fine. Rub some dirt on, well, maybe not dirt, because it'll... I still think you should get some stitches. See, someone in camp knows how to do stitching. Get that stitch together. I mean, come on, it's only about, what, six inches long? <laughs> That's what she said. That's not really what she said. All right, well... All right, so your vision goes a little blurry, and you see green stuff. That's not really there. You should be good, though. This is Canada. Where we make real men. <laughs>